the last Journey phone I reviewed was the Journey M11 and that was back in January of this year. Well, in my hands today, I've got the Journey S12 and this is Journey's latest smartphone for 2020. But what is the S12 pack and is this a phone that you should consider buying? Before we get started, hit that like button and a sub to the channel will be most appreciated. The Gioni S12 comes in a standard white box with some brief specifications on the box. But before we dive into the specs, let's see what we have in the packaging. On the top of the packaging, we have the S12. We have a service center card, a user manual, a SIM ejector tool, and a transparent TPU case. And it's always a nice touch to have a protective case included in the package until you're able to buy a proper case. Underneath the first compartment, we have a pair of earphones, a USB-A to USB-C charging and data transfer cable and a charging brick. Awesome that Gioni included the USB-C in this phone. Unwrapping the Gioni S12 reveals a very beautiful back panel. It glows and it gives you different looks under different lighting conditions. I absolutely love this back design and this blue color just looks stunning. The Gioni S12 has the following hardware specifications. 6.5 inch 20 by 9 aspect ratio HD plus IPS LCD screen, 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of internal storage, which is expandable to 256 gigabyte VAR and micro SD card. We also have an octa core Helio A25 processor in the CPU department. There's a 4000 mAh battery powering this device, and we've got 13 megapixel in the selfie camera department and a quad camera setup at the rear of this device comprising of a 16 megapixel main wide angle camera, two 2 megapixel depth and macro cameras and an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. The main rear camera has a super pixel mode that can take shots up to 96 megapixels but we'll be trying this out when we test the cameras. Other specs include a rare place fingerprint reader, a 3.5mm earphone port, a USB-C charging port which allows up to 18 watts fast charging, a dual nano SIM tray and this device runs on Android 10. The build of this phone is quite good. You've got a plastic back plate, which is a positive in my opinion as it won't shatter if you happen to drop this device. And it also helps to keep the price of the phone low. The design is also a joy to behold. It's very clean. You have clean lines, great color on this one. And I absolutely love the blue color on my review unit. I like the software on the Journey S12. It's a pixel-esque software. It has no bloatware and no heavy skinning on this one. It looks exactly like a pixel launcher it's fairly fast and smooth and the gesture navigation on this one works pretty well although there are occasional stutters that I've discovered while using this device the Gioni s12 runs on Android 10 which is a good thing and I do hope that the Gioni team will be upgrading this OS to Android 11 when it's available I'll reach out to the Gioni team to find out if this will happen overall the software on this device is clean and it feels good to use the display on the Journey S12 is a HD plus screen, meaning it's slightly higher than a 720p screen. Colors are vibrant on this display and videos and images are clear. However, your viewing experience will be capped at 720p on platforms like YouTube. Videos look good, viewing angles were okay, and you should be absolutely fine with the video output on the screen. Although if you're pixel peeping, you should be able to see the pixels on the screen. Nevertheless, the screen is decent and it should help you get more time out of the battery on this device. And talking about the battery, there's a 4,000 mAh battery on the S12. It's held up good for my two days of use. It's always carried me to the end of the day with about 15% of battery life left at the end of the day. And this is with more to heavy usage. This means you would only need to charge this phone once in a day. Screen on time averages at 5 hours on this phone. So there are four cameras on the rear of the Gini S12 comprising of a 16 megapixel main wide angle camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera and an 8 megapixel ultra wide angle camera. The pictures from the rear cameras look decent overall i mean all the pictures that i took they looked good the color representations were okay if you're just going to be using these images on social media on your phone just showing them to your friends then they're absolutely great looking images but there is a super pixel mode on the journey s12 that takes 
very high resolution images that come up to 96 megapixels. The images from the super pixel mode look quite better than what you have from the regular shots from the 60 megapixel camera, but the difference isn't that much. Again, overall, the picture quality on the Geony S12 is decent. Here are a couple of pictures I took with the Geony S12. S12 uses a Helio A25 processor, which is an entry-level ARM SoC for smartphones and this chip was introduced in early 2020. The Helio A25 integrates an LTE Cat 4 modem, a Power VRG8320 graphics card, and a 1080 30 frames per second video decoder and encoder. This means that on this phone, you're limited to 4G bandwidth and your video recording output is capped at 1080p at 30 frames per second. For gaming, you can do the casual gaming on this phone, but don't expect to run heavy 3D titles at high settings on this phone. And that's down to the processor and the GPU that we find in here. You'll be fine playing 3D titles at low or medium settings and you'd be fine with 2D 